Uh, it is certainly never a mundane Monday when we have Mike P here from GTS. Mike, thanks for joining me at the beginning of the week. Hey, Liv, how are you? Hey, I'm well, thank you. Thank you for asking. Now, be a homie and tell me about all this housing data that we have this week. How important is that for our economy? So the housing data, that counts for almost one-sixth of our GDP, right? And a couple of key points that are going to come out of that. You know, one, people investing in their homes, rebuilding, remodeling, doing things, spending money. That also creates jobs. Two, new home starts, right? People focusing on the future, that there's still a, this positive along the way where it's not just short-term, day-to-day. You have to build a new house. It's going to take you weeks, months, a year. And then last but not least, third, when you buy a home, it's one of the largest purchases you're ever going to make in your life. So it's consumer confidence. Yeah, it, sh it sure is. And it seems like the economy is really in focus right now. Now with renewed tariffs, new tariffs, I think 10% on $200 billion worth of goods from China. Is that really going to have an effect on our economy, Mike? Because it seems like there's some dissent there. You know, initially when there was all this tariff talk at first, it, was, it seemed like there was a little bit more volatility in the market. Over the last few months, it seems that traders and investors have kind of put tariffs to the side a little bit, right? And you're not seeing as much volatility when tariffs talk. Last week, you hear about tariffs again in China and market above 26,000. We're right off our all-time highs. So right now, the main focus is going to be on the macro economy and then also, you know, earnings. And I think that tariffs will be something that it's more of a wait and see to what companies are actually going to get affected down the road. And I think that's what traders and investors are doing is saying, you know what, we'll wait to see when they're finally implemented. And right now, let's focus on the picture that's happening today. All right. So in general, would you say we're in this slow grind higher still with the sector rotation? And if so, what is the sector we're grinding into? You know, sector rotation is going to happen or, you know, money's always going into different as asset classes. You know, like we just said, the markets are trading at 26,000. We're at all-time highs, right? Uh, last week, there was all this about worry about the, the uh, East Coast and the storms. So, you, you know, you saw your insurers get hit. You saw utilities get hit. And then money was going into, you know, tech and money was going into financials. And you saw some REITs rallying. In the big picture, though, Money's staying in the market, and it's not going into commodities. It's not going into fixed income. It's staying here. And the strength of the economy and the strength of U.S. markets is still a, a belief, and that's what traders and investors are confident. Well, Mike, I want to say thank you so much for staying with us on Mondays, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Great to see you, Liv. Have a great day.